Hey Flower Tribe, it's Kelly Lehman from Cranberry Fields Flower Farm and today I wanted to give you the quick version of how to grow a sunflower from seed. So sunflowers are one of the easiest flowers to grow from seed in your gardens and it's super easy to do. I have longer sunflower videos that I will put in a playlist at the end of this video and some of those will also show you how to harvest your sunflowers for best face life. They're going to show you how to harvest the seeds so you can plant them in your gardens for the following year and it's going to show you how to arrange these beautiful flowers and we even have a few flower walks through some of the flower fields. So those are additional videos but for now I wanted to give you the super fast version of how to get these guys in the ground. I wanted to give a quick shout out for some of our Flower Tribe members who have commented in comments below and they let me know where they were viewing the videos from. So please feel free to do the same and you might get a shout out in one of our future videos. If we haven't met yet, it's nice to meet you. My name is Kelly Lehman. I'm the owner of Cranberry Fields Flower Farm here in Cranberry, New Jersey. Please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel where we love giving you guys fun, free flower tips each week. So now let's dive right into this video. Okay guys, so here's how simple it is to plant your sunflower seeds. So you're gonna come out to a spot in your garden that gets a lot of sun. Sunflowers love sun. And so you wanna make sure they get at least six hours of sun each day. And be careful when you plant them because sometimes when you plant things in spring, there might be perennial flowers that are gonna be coming up around them that eventually do get very tall and will cast shadows on them. So just make sure that your sunflower, wherever you plant it, is going to have a lot of continual sunlight throughout its uh, entire life. So I'm gonna come out to a spot and then make sure that, um, you know, I chop up the soil, there's no weeds around it. And I'm basically just going to dig a little trench here about an inch deep, an inch or two deep. And I'm gonna basically just put my sunflowers in the ground. I like to have sunflowers that have smaller heads on them because we ship our flowers nationwide and I don't like the big giant uh, sunflower heads for those bouquets. So there are all different varieties of sunflowers. Some of them have larger heads, some of them have smaller heads. So um, two things, um, well there's a, a few things, but two of the things that are gonna really indicate how big your flower head is going to be is the spacing of your sunflower seeds and also the variety. Now there's some varieties of sunflowers that are called mammoth and they're like those big giant heads. And there's other ones like Pro Cut Orange and um, Bicolor and they're like the medium size heads. So what, first the thing that depends on the size head is going to be, you know, the actual variety. But the second thing is gonna be the spacing that I'm showing you now. So let's take a look here one more time. We're gonna take a look. These guys are gonna have smaller heads because they're spaced together like maybe about an inch or two. But if I wanted a larger sunflower head, I'm gonna move this seed over about six inches and you can even move them over even further. Sometimes people plant their sunflowers six to eight inches apart for even larger sunflower heads. So think about the size flower head that you want in your garden and then space it accordingly. And then basically you're just gonna cover them with some soil. Once again, you're gonna have the, about an inch or two of soil on top. So after you cover your sunflower seeds with an inch or two of soil, you're gonna make sure that they have water because sunflowers and most seeds need uh, water to germinate to kind of start that whole growth process. So if you're not gonna have any rain coming down in your garden, just make sure that you give it, you know, like, like a little bit of water. You don't wanna soak it that the sunflower seeds kind of float away, but you wanna make sure it has like about an inch of water, at least an inch of water, um, you know, per week as it's starting to grow. More would be fine and um, make sure that they don't dry out in the beginning. And then sunflowers are awesome because they're drought tolerant. So once they establish their root system and they start to grow, they're usually pretty good uh, when some of the drought conditions start to kick in. But if you can water them, if you've noticed that your garden hasn't had water in like a week, then you know definitely give them a shot of water. Um, but they're really super easy to grow. And then after a while, you're gonna start seeing um, some sprouts come up, it takes a while and they're basically good to go. Uh, the way that I do my sunflowers, I don't even have an irrigation system uh, in this pasture. And these guys were all watered by Mother Nature. And um, once again, once they had their root system established, they kind of just took off and a super flower to grow. And I think you guys are really gonna enjoy these in your gardens. Grab my free download, four must have flowers for your garden in descriptions below and take a look at some of my favorite, easy to grow, gorgeous flowers for your own gardens. 
Thank you so much for joining us in this video. And please let me know where you're viewing this from in this great big beautiful world. I love to see how our flower tribe is growing around the globe each week. And come say hi to us over on our Cranberry Fields Instagram page. And I will put a link to my Patreon page below in case you're interested in becoming a flower tribe supporter. And with your support, it just helps us with some editing equipment and some better sound and some, uh, some more help. So <laughs> please check that out if you would like. And I will see you in the next video.